Today, the Movie Slackers review is coming from downtown San Andreas at our studios. Oh no. Yeah. Johnny? What's wrong with you? Hey, welcome back to the Movie Slackers. I'm Robbie Rob. We got Johnny Two Toes, also known as The Rock. In uh, case you didn't know, we're reviewing the movie San Andreas. Uh, went saw it uh, last night. Yeah, I mean, I'll start off. You're okay yeah, with yeah, that? Go right, um, ahead. go ahead, knock them down. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. It is an action packed thrill ride. If you like uh, going to the music park and um, like those little thrill rides and stuff like that, and, I mean, it's pretty much non stop action yeah. from start to finish. Um, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, The Rock is the is the savior. Um, he he's he's there to save people, save his family, save other people. That's what he does. That's what he's meant to do. This movie, not a lot of dialogue with him, but you know, that, that's what it is. Um, Johnny, what did you uh, what did you see off the bat? What did you see from the, the um, video? I've well, got some questions for you. This guy, this guy saves more people in, in two hours than most people yeah. save their entire lives. But that's okay. That's what he, he saves does. most of California. <laughs> <laughs> he saves most of California. But no, it was it was it was a decent. It's it's what the summer is about. A big dumb, you know, uh, cheesy special effects uh, action movie. Um, and, you, and you knew that going in. We knew that yeah, going in. Yeah, we kind of knew that going in. If somebody's been living underneath the rock. Yeah, <laughs> and didn't know what kind of movie this was, then then it's their own fault. fault yeah, for thinking it's something else, but yeah. But it was uh, there was there was there was a lot of cliches and a lot of predictability. Um, you know, San Francisco is a very big city, and, and not to get too much away, because I think people will like it. I think most people will like it. You know, just because for what it is, it's just big, dopey fun. But you know, San Francisco is a very very big city, and he's able to go up there and find his sister, his his daughter, mm -hmm. or try to find his daughter in this big huge city of San Francisco, and he he's, he's kind of. Him and you know, his wife, uh, yeah. which is played by what his ex-wife, Carla Gugino, uh, and uh, but yeah, they they're in a little boat there, and they yeah. just happen to find because the and know, I'm obviously surprised. Been, you know this, the, if you seen the trailers, you know this flood was going to happen. So, yeah, but um, yeah, they, they <laughs> just happen to see them the kids banging on the <laughs> yeah, <they're just laughs> on the window there, pointer, <laughs> the laser pointer. But yeah, um, it was you know there's really not a whole lot here that's going to happen that you don't that you're not going to see coming. But it, um, it would be it would be uh, kind of a uh, a longer movie if they didn't find the kids, if it didn't longer, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I will say this, that Dwayne Johnson, he literally, he, he does carry this movie, and he mm -hmm. does, he is very good. I'm going to say this mm -hmm. right now. He's an excellent actor. He really, in my opinion, he's, he is. He's, he's definitely good he's, as an action. He's an excellent actor. He's I got mean, some, some tender moments where he talks mm -hmm. about, talks to his wife about one of his other daughters. And um, the rest of the cast is good. I, it, basically, the, the movie is uh, his daughter, played by uh, Alexandra Daddario, who is just stunningly gorgeous. Uh, Carla Gugino, who's also a lovely young lady, great actress, and Dwayne Johnson, and, and that basically it's those three. And then of course, the daughter meets. Well, uh, you also have the strapping lad that yeah. in the. In the uh, but you also have on the side too, which I mean, it's pretty Paul good. Paul is yeah, he, he's a professor. Lawyer. He was pretty good in it. I mean, he has a couple of cheesy lines. I mean, he's like, but, you know, uh, what, what does he say? Yeah, the. Oh yeah, know, this is. Who uh, do we notify? Everyone. Everyone kind of. You know, you know it's. Uh, it's just his expression when he's. Sitting there. I mean, I know it's cheesy, but it's supposed to be. It, yeah, it's yeah. cheesy. It's it's cornball. It's fun. I mean, I had fun. Uh, the visual effects are pretty, pretty stunning in some scenes. They do take you like they're always on there. I know it's mainly CGI and stuff. Of course, it had to be, but uh, especially when uh, uh, they're stuck on buildings and stuff like that, they're kind of almost just like they're following that person. So you know, yeah. fire pops up or something's falling on them or whatever. Yeah. You, you feel kind of like you're there with them. So that's that's how I felt like you know you're in a ride with them, almost a theme park ride yeah. with them. Um, it's, you know, it's, what, it's what, what, what was your favorite part? Um, I know what mine is. Through the whole movie, in. you want me to tell you what mine is? Yeah, you go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's it's no um, it's no surprise because it's in the trailer and everything too. But you know, just in case you haven't seen the movie yet, if you want to pause it or whatever. But my favorite part is course when the uh, tsunami wave mm -hmm. is coming towards <laughs> towards the city of San Francisco oh, yeah. and you know you got all these boats because they know to, you got to ride into it they have into to, the wave before it so, crashes. And, and that thing's huge <laughs> it's probably the biggest tsunami it's probably over exaggerated a little bit I yeah. know I know they're pretty big and everything and I know it's pretty sad but 
uh, they're running into it. They're in, you know, not a very big boat, but that thing's going up in it, and you got a big cargo ship they're heading straight towards and everything too. Well, so what I thought was funny it's was pretty uh, wild. So uh, that's, 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 my, that's my favorite part anyway. The boat that they're in yeah. is a little, is a, basically a little pontoon boat, but it's got a 300 horsepower motor. Yeah, but I'm saying <laughs> these are, there's these other boats that are on the wave that are that are probably twice as heavy as that boat. Uh -huh. They're just flop, they're you know flying backwards. Sure. I'm like, well, okay. Uh, right. They didn't have a rock driving it, though. That's true. They didn't. See, this is what if I'm they saying. Had, if they had the rock, and they say, hey, you know, come on over here and This is what we're talking about. This is the kind of movie it is. <laughs> Don't look for it to make much sense. Um, am I going to recommend it? Uh, I'd probably go three what, out of five. But was that your favorite part, though? Oh, no, I'm sorry. My, my favorite part, um, wow. My favorite part, probably the, the, the very opening scene took me by surprise. I didn't think it was going to be that. The, oh, the opening, yeah, yeah. And I didn't think that was going to happen, and it was actually pretty, pretty interesting. Um, there's a, there's a, a, a little small. It's a just a split second moment, and it's been done before in movies, but it always, it always hits me. Um, there's an old couple that's standing in the street, mm -hmm. and when they see the wave coming, they, oh, they yeah. and they turn and they hug each other. And I thought that was, you know, it's been done before, but uh, you know, it just somehow for some reason that really it gets me when I, when I see that but you know um, other than that I mean the acting is, is, is serviceable I mean the acting I mean Dwayne Johnson is like as it's I said, entertaining is real it's, good it's worth going Carlo on. Gugino is excellent and now Alexander Daddario is very very good in the movie mm -hmm. acting wise and uh, Paul Giamatti d does what he you know does what the role requires and uh, uh, Ian Griffith who plays the uh, in the beginning of the film plays Carlo Gugino's new, new boyfriend and oh, yeah, yeah. I found his, his name, his last name is Riddick. <laughs> no, not Vin Diesel. No. Uh, he, but he's, he's pretty an important uh, he's person, kind of, at least in half of the movie. Well, yeah. part of the movie, yeah. yeah we, we won't, we won't he, spoil it for you. But, he's yeah. the rich guy that's, of course, represented to be right. a jerk. And you think, but, but, but at first you, know, you think he's a pretty good guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but you realize, pretty, you know, realize down the road that he's not. But, now spoiler, you know, spoiler. You know, you know Kyla Minogue? Kyla, Kyla Minogue, yeah. She, she's in it briefly. I thought I didn't know who Kyla Minogue was. Oh yeah, she was. The, she played the sister. She yeah. was the sister. Was having yeah. lunch with. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know who that was. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, I mean she was big in the '80s and not too long ago either. She said she's been pretty popular in, in music and stuff too. So yeah. But I mean, I give it uh, one more. One more rep mention of uh, Alex. Uh, I'm sorry, Andrew Lockington's score is very good for this film. So if you get a chance to to listen to it or pick it up on Amazon. It's actually he's got he's composed a very good score for this film, so that's worth what worth mentioning. And I'll guarantee you that one people that the one people that group people that's not going to want to want to see this movie is the California Board of Tourism. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna, they don't like this movie. I don't know, but uh, this is not exactly the movie you want to show if you want to improve your uh, tourism to that state. Yeah. But uh, joking is a joking aside. It's it's a good film. It, it uh, is a thrill ride for what it is. It's 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 big. It's dumb. It's a good movie. No, it's predictable in spots, it's cliched in spots, but I mean, I got into it because just the sheer magnitude of what, what's going on. I mean, but the, and, and the, uh, and Dwayne, I mean, the, even though I know it's CGI, but the special effects and stuff, well, they, do, they do pretty much take you right in there. Yeah, yeah. And they it, do. It, it is some very great special effects, I think. Yeah, and, and I, you know, and like I said, Dwayne Johnson and Carlo Gugino and, and Alexander Daddario sell the material and, and do a good job of selling it. I mean, <laughs> Uh, I still say Mad Max, Fury Road, and Avengers: Age of Ultron are the two to see before you, you see this. But if you've seen those, not, you, not Tomorrowland. Tomorrow, this is better than Tomorrowland. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. But it's uh, not much, but it is. It is. It's uh, better. I, I think. It, yeah, I mean, but it, but I mean, those two. You see those two first, and then this would be would be third, <laughs> as of right now. <laughs> so. And, uh, so what are you rating it? Uh, I'm gonna give it out of five. I'm gonna give it a three. Uh, three what? Three slacks. Three slacks. Because you don't know, instead of stars, we use slacks because we're the movie slackers. Slackers. Uh, yeah. um, I would actually give it, and um, we do it on the half scales, up to five, and we do halves. So I'm going to give it a, a strong three and a half. Okay. Uh, yeah, because the entertainment value. You, 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 know, you, know, you, you know what it is going into it. But uh, So Johnny, where can these folks find us and how can they help us out? At Movie Slackers channel on YouTube. What can they do? And they can... Click subscribe, comment, like, and also see us over on uh, MovieSlackers.com. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're out of here. <laughs>